Hey guys, what is up? This is your Lighting Ghost coming to you live through the power of YouTube. And I've got something small to keep us busy. It is load shedding time in South Africa. So what load shedding means is we don't have any power. We are up to stage four now. And uh, I don't want to go into further detail about the load shedding. But yes, they switch off power at intervals. Because apparently South Africa don't have enough power for the whole country. Um, so yeah, I went down to my local shop and I got a a nail nailer just to make it easier to do my shipbuilding the common 1850 that I'm doing and this is actually nice because you just put your nail in and I don't have to use my fingers so you put your nail in like that and as you pick it up you can see it protruding there and then you can just basically nail it down so that's quite nice they say it's got a uh, magnet inside which I don't see it holding but yeah maybe that will make my life easier so this is just a quick one I can get my knife here let's open this and let's assemble this so this is let's see if we've got light we've got light guys so yes let's be Gate status mains restored. Mains are restored and I'm quite happy about that. So let me cut here quickly and then uh, get my life sorted and then I'll bring you back. Okay guys, so I basically cut out just a portion here. You can see and I lifted it up. So I laid out all of the parts. There's about 10 parts in this uh, bolt. We've got a small little screwdriver you can see there in my hand it's minute we've got two screws there and I think that's just to basically connect the bottom piece up with the main body we've got the two front tires the front axle the back axle and the two back tires I think they bit different sizes so as you can see there they are slightly bigger and smaller then we've got our main wing at the front this is where all the downfalls comes from we've got our main body which is quite low to the ground and our main wing at the back as well we've got some nice detail on there ferrari and then we've got two yellow decals on the side here we've got the sponsor goodyear let me just get this to focus got Egypt, Goodyear and the number 27 which was trained at John Alacy's car back in 1994 then we've got the front wing part here which is also nicely done up in some nice decals got all the sponsors on there as well all right so let's get to assembly so first what they want us to do is just to fit the tires to the hubs it is quite small and like I said it is a 164 scale so it's about the same scale as all your Hot Wheels out there and some of the Meister cars but I must admit the detail that they put into this is absolutely amazing so we've got Goodyear on the tires there and Eagle so this was the Goodyear Eagle tires that they used back in the days. I miss those days where they used Goodyear tires. They all they just using Michelin at this stage. I think the Goodyear was a much better tire. But yeah, that's just that's just me probably. These tires are quite fiddly to get on, but as soon as they get on, they fit quite snug on the hub. And as you can see, they done it all in gold. Very nice. So let's fit the back tires on as well. And yeah, we in South Africa have had four days, actually longer, probably about a week of just raining. It seems like we're in England. I know you guys out there get a lot of rain. 
and not a lot of sunshine and yeah i think we're getting we're getting cranky over not having sunshine because in south africa we've got the best weather i believe and yeah the rain is also getting to me so there you can see the back tires are on they are the bigger tires of the two also got the nice goodyear logo on and the ego logo on the tires fit quite nicely on this model, so I'm quite happy about that. As you can see, the difference in the size of the axles as well. The front axle seems to be way longer than the back ones. Alright, so on to step number two. Now they want us to use the bottom part and then just drop our tires in there, our axles. And I'm just struggling to see, I think it has to go in here, or there. So I think that portion there needs to basically go into the tire, as you can see what I'm doing here. So that bottom piece goes into the tire, or into the rim itself, and that is quite a snug fit as well. Let's just drop the back ones in, see if they will have the same effect, and it seems like they do. And they also just drop in quite neatly. And there we have the tires assembled. We seem to be out of focus here a little bit, but hopefully the camera will rectify it. Or let me just get back into focus quickly. Okay. Back in focus. As you can see, I don't know if you can, I'll try and get a clear of you. There we've got the steering wheel, which is in the center console. It's a very small, tiny piece there. Um, but it is a nice addition. So next up, I just want to see where this portion needs to go so this portion has got a it's got two small holes in there and you've got two lugs that side and this side which that will probably just drop into now i just want to make sure because i think i first need to drop in the driver's seat and let me sh just show you that on camera got the nice driver's seat there as well very nice so this just drops in just want to make sure you've got two pin holes here and then we've got two pins on the actual body and that is where this needs to drop into i believe this portions also need to basically go into the wheels sorry i'm out of focus there but as you can see we've got these two little lugs here and that also needs to drop in to the rim itself and then fit into the tire this is quite fiddly doing small stuff like this but and i don't want to break anything i really don't want to break anything okay so that drops in our two pins lines up and that we can just push down on so we've got that portion in there so as you can see i'm just going to point it out here with my marking knife got the two pins there and there and then here at the back those portions need to drop in and they support the axle at the back there tire is still spinning so that's quite nice very fiddly model this okay then we bring the steering wheel over and as i said earlier we've got the two pins there as well i believe these two front parts here also need to fit into the tire or onto the axle <coughs> so let's just get that in line it up with the two pins there and then i'm just gonna drop it down and just secure it into its good position it 
just want to make sure that it's still rolling. I'm going to get a small little screwdriver and just try and push this in a little bit further. I think it is in. But yeah, there we've got the main body assembled and then we just need to drop the top piece on. Very nice, small little model, but I must admit it is quite interesting to do some small stuff like this. So here at the bottom of the main body as well, we've got two screw holes and that needs to basically go, we've got one screw hole over there and one at the front there. And I think this is going to be screwed, I don't know, this actually just sits. So on the base we've got two pins sticking out. And at the bottom of the vehicle, we've got two pinholes there. And that is just where that is going to rest onto the body. So let's get this quickly on and then screw it into place. And that fits like a glove. And there we have the assembled model. So let's screw this in. I'm going to try and use this small little screwdriver of this. It seems like it's magnetized. And then from the bottom here, just drop it in. And I'm going to screw it all the way in. <laughs> just the screwdriver is fiddly. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so the first one is in. The second one seems to go in front hole that side and then again we just screw that in and you will feel it screw in because it locks quite neatly and everything's feel sturdy so there we have it there is John Alasi's 1994 412 T1 Ferrari that he used in the Grand Prix back then I think back in those days they were still using V6s and then it moved on to V8s and now they're using the alternative power source plus some battery and fuel, a little bit of fuel, but yes this is an absolute charm of a model, you can see it's very small, it fits in my hand, nice detail at the back there as well, got the number 27 there. The sides here, let's just go like this. Very interesting little bolt. So, yeah, the last part is we just need to stick it onto the base. It's unfortunate that they didn't give us like a cover for this, but as this is a collector's model, I'm going to take off the sticker here at the back and maybe post that on the bottom of the model. This doesn't, it falls off, so it doesn't stick in quite as good as I thought. But yeah, there we have it. There is John Alacy's 412 T1. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this small little video. Continue watching. I'm going to be completing my USS Enterprise and also my Carmen Bolt. And then I want to move back to my um, Mustang, one in eight scale from Diagostini. So please check out the channel, hit that subscribe button, and like the video. This is Rattan saying Ferrari Forza.